fact. Britain's had uh, kings and queens for more than a thousand years, and as with US presidents, some have been magnificent, others have been what we might now call problematic. <gasps> Henry VIII, for example, had very serious issues with what would now be known as toxic masculinity. His daughter, Queen Mary, was quite fond of burning Protestants in front of jeering crowds. Similarly, the British Empire committed many heinous deeds in the context of a darker, more ignorant time. But that all happened in the past. That's how history works. None of today's royal family had anything to do with those problematic issues. So why should they apologise for them? Well, campaigners in the Caribbean nations are again demanding that King Charles issues a formal apology for his ancestors' involvement in the slave trade. They also want financial reparations from today's public purse to compensate them for their past suffering. British royals are now routinely barracked for ancestral sins on every tour that they go on, uh, with demands that they issue apologies to indigenous communities in Canada and accusations they've crushed the development of Jamaica. This week, the Church of England committed to raising a billion pounds for reparations, even as its congregations dwindle and its churches fall apart. What do you mean by that? The exact same movement's happening across the United States, with an increasing clamour for the descendants of slaves to be compensated for their ancestors' suffering. Now, look, there's no denying that slavery was an evil stain on humanity. Uh, OK, I'm listening. You have my attention. In fact, that's why the British Empire eventually made it illegal 217 years ago. But even at its height, very few people actually owned slaves. And one thing is for certain, none of the people who foot the bill today were responsible for any of it. To me, this entire narrative is regressive and divisive. So that was a f***ing lie. How can we ever be colorblind, judging people by their character, not their skin color, if we continue to preach that half the world's inherently evil and the other half are to blame for it? Well, joining me now is today's pack, also of the Psychosis of Whiteness, Kahindi Andrews, comedian and podcaster James Barr, and from LA, the YouTuber Amala Ekunobi. Welcome to all of you. All right. Kehinde, welcome back to Uncensored, uh, along with James, two of my favourite guests. Um, OK, I need you to sell this to me, because I, I've thought about this a lot, and I understand why people want people to express regret for what happened. OK. Why they want to say, look, this was awful. I completely concur. Slavery was one of the most evil things that, in human existence. I just can't get my head round why King Charles should be issuing apologies for something he never did. That's a good question. And secondly, what difference it would make? And thirdly, on reparations, how does paying money now for the sins of people hundreds of years ago make any real difference either? Shut up, shut up, bro, shut up, bro. Well, because the thing about the apology is the apology really is the route to reparations. Because this may have happened a long time ago, but the legacy is still with us. You go to the Caribbean, there's no black people in the Caribbean apart from slavery. Fact. And it's one of the poorest regions in the world. And if you're in the UK, and the king is the perfect example of the ostentatious wealth, the wealth we have here is because of what happened in slavery. So the people in the Caribbean are poor today because of slavery, and therefore there is a debt owed to them. Why do you wealthy. care if King Charles says, I'm sorry? Well, no, for me, the apology is not for a, like a moral issue. That's so you then get reparations. That's why he won't say sorry. Because when you say sorry, you accept responsibility, and you have to pay for it. Fact. He hates, debt, no. he hates slavery as much as, no, no, as you and I. It's not about, it's about the debt that is owed. People in Jamaica are poor because of slavery. People in Britain are rich. And he's the perfect example of someone who is rich. It was the Royal African Company, which was started by Charles II, that enslaved the most people that look like me in the world. There is a debt owed. That wealth is with us and the poverty is with us, which is why it needs to be returned. All right, um, Amala, uh, what do you think of this? Because, look, opinions run strong on both sides. Where do you sit? I, I stand anti-reparations on this issue. I understand and acknowledge that slavery occurred. It was a massive and heinous transgression. But to think that people who never committed such a transgression are somehow responsible for the current trauma of people living in today's time who never experienced that transgression is, quite frankly, ridiculous to me. Oh, wow. And to give an apology is to, as Kindy says, admit fault. And he is not at fault. He is not the one responsible for the slavery of the past, nor is he responsible for the issues that uh, black people in the UK or in the Caribbean or, or here in the US, as we're having many discussions here about reparations, are facing. 
Right, I mean, James Barr, where does this end? If you take the, the idea that sins of the past have to be atoned with apology and reparations, do we now go to the Italians and say, right, the Romans invaded us, we want money from you people? Is he all right upstairs? The Vikings, do we go to Scandinavia and demand money from descendants of the Vikings? In other words, once you establish a principle of this, where does it end? If we're going to trivialise it, then I would like to... Why is that about, trivial? I would like to talk about how the church perhaps owe LGBTQ plus people billions of pounds okay. for Why do you the think shame I trivialize? Why have that I trivialized they caused it? queer people. And to be honest, it's not even a trivial, trivial argument. I think we should turn Westminster Abbey into a gay club. I genuinely believe that King Charles should say sorry, and everyone here is yeah, saying... But answer my question, then. What was your question? Your my question, question is that... Well, my question is that, that if you assume that, that sins of the past right, should be atoned with apology and reparations. I think it's about who is... What, what about marauding hordes of Romans, Vikings and so on who, who killed a lot of people? Bitch, fuck y'all, look. Caused total mayhem, we also did caused that. destruction. And no. we are a really right, rich so, country. So here's my point. What, where does it... Where's the line for you? I think the line is that the, the royal family are still profiteering off of thousands of years of racism currently, and whether it's conscious or unconscious... How are they? they? Because they own property that was built by slaves or funded by slaves. So we need to acknowledge that. We need to say sorry for that. Fact. And we need to do the work and we need to pay that debt back. Why was... Why does say... Oh, look, I get the sorry leads to reparations, but the actual apology... You know, I wouldn't apologise for what my ancestors did. Well, you should... I think, ago. to be honest... Stop it. Get some help. Yes, I think everybody in this country should apologise. Why? We never stop apologising. Because, <laughs> well, exactly. Apologize? You won't, but you won't apologise for this. No, and that's I, crazy to me because no. this whole society... If King Charles singing. was found to be holding right now... And by the way, modern-day slavery is a massive problem. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell, right, let me tell you <laughs> We don't care. There are millions... Well, hang on. There are millions of people held in modern-day slavery, right? If the royal family were found to be holding people in modern-day slavery, absolutely throw the book at them, right? So, but they're not. This had nothing to do with no, them. Piers, come on. There is a Proceeds of Crime Act in this country. The, the, the act may have happened, but the wealth is still here. That's the problem. Yes. The poverty is still here. This is not a past thing. This is a now thing. Fact. If you're saying you want to fix the problems of the Caribbean and for black people in America and here, we don't have the money. And where's the money? It's with people like the king. So you have to return the money. That's reparations. The Church That's of England song. now says the 100 million earmarked by Church of England for new investment to repair damage caused by historic links to slavery isn't enough, a report says. They're recommending a billion pounds. Oh, my God! The there are churches closing all over the country, right? Vickers uh, are being paid less and less, and there are less and less of them wanting to do the job anyway. That's about the, the conditions the they're living in are getting worse and worse. That's and their fault. That's their fault. Makers of their own doing this. How are we going to... So why bankrupt the Church of England? Because all they need to do is to sell, sell one of their cathedrals. Sell the cathedral. Sell the jewels you stole. It's not difficult. Yeah, 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 it's not of, if you go back far enough, have been established from slavery. I'm sure a lot. What happens to them? And you know what, Piers? They should what also, to their As home? I just said, I think everybody living in this country, in the UK, should apologise right. for the, the horrendous things so our ancestors 60, did. So 60 odd million people issue public apology. Damn! <laughs> I'm down we, for that. And if there's any trace on any line back to any slavery, <laughs> anyone's property, is, is, which can be linked back to slavery, has is, to be what? Is, given to, given talking, to who? We to, are talking about, given talking to, about to, normal to people now, but we are talking about King Charles, the royal family. They have endless amounts of endless. properties. How many bedrooms does Buckingham Palace have? You don't need all of that. Sell this stuff. Give the money back. War to family you bring in. All right, if you go. steal something, you give it <laughs> let back. Let me go back to Amal, who's been, who's been uh, listening very patiently. I mean, look, the argument about the royal family to me is a fatuous one because they bring in so much money in tourism, they wash their faces, in my estimation. Uh, but if you don't believe in the royal family, you don't believe in the royal family. Give Americans don't have a royal family. So they've got money for reparations. But has anything <laughs> they're saying... I mean, my problem, Amal, about this is, is that once you establish this principle, there is simply no end to it. The, the history is littered with yeah. evil people doing evil things. Here we go again. And descendants existing today 
who can be traced back to these people and their evil things. Once you say we're all culpable today for what happened 300 years ago, 500 years ago, 1,000 years ago, it never stops. We'd be in a perpetual state of what Mr Barr's utopia is, which is millions of people chanting apologies all day long. Wait for it. Here it comes. <laughs> 